Hello everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to another episode of my playthrough of uh, Starfield. Thanks for joining me again. We're doing this uh, UC mission called War Relics, and uh, we've uh, retrieved Kaiser from uh, Nira here, and we're going to uh, go back to Mars. That's what we're going to do. So let's get back on our ship, and we'll fly back to Mars and go to the Red Devils HQ with Kaiser on our massive ship. This thing is a beast. Oh, hopefully Vasco won't be jealous because there's another robot Captain here. Fox. Or maybe he'll like the company. I am satisfied to see that answer. Like we've been gone for uh, let's walk up here to our cargo and dump off this heavy stuff we've got. And I've got to give something to um, Barrett here. Uh, in fact, um, yeah, I need to I need to figure out what you know what he prefers to fight with. I'm not gonna be using the cutter. Yeah, I need to do that. Um. Because, yeah, I, I mean, I definitely want to give him something. I don't think we're going to be fighting anytime soon. But I also don't want to forget to give him anything. So, I mean, I'm going to pretend like I'm asking Barrett what he likes to fight with. But in actuality, I'm going to go online and see what he likes to fight with. And then I'll give him that. So, in two seconds, we'll uh, have something to give to Barrett, hopefully. Well, I did a search, and um, apparently he can use any weapon. It, I, I didn't find any indication that he prefers one weapon over the other. One thing I did see is that uh, he does, if you, I guess if you give him 777 caseless ammo, he'll use some default weapon, maybe? I don't know. But that's the that's the ammo I like to use, so, um, I mean, I, I think I really only have to give him one, one bit one, what do you call it? What's one thing of ammo? One bullet? But, um, instead, we're gonna look at these weapons here, and, um, I mean, we've got these epic weapons that we could give him. We could even give him, well, that's a, that's a knife. I don't want to give him a knife. Uh, pistol, we've got another knife, we've got this side star thing here. I mean, it kinda, this is probably... Yeah, I'm going to give him this. I'm going to take this. This uses that three kilovolt laser ammo, but my understanding is that I only have to give him one of those. One ammo. One laser. I'm all ears. Hmm. Let's rearrange some things here. So I'm going to switch to me, and I'm going to give him this thing. And then I'm going to go into my ammo, and I'm going to give him this, um, oh man, was it, which laser cartridge was it? Was it the three? I think it was the 1.5, wasn't it? <laughs> Damn it, I don't remember. Uh, Barrett has this thing, three kilovolt. Inventory. Um, nope. Ammo. Three kilovolt. We're just gonna give him one. Just one. There. He should be fine now. Could be wrong. I've been wrong once or twice before. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh, says Barrett. All right, let's bring up our quest list. Let's go ahead and bring this up. We're gonna set our course. We're gonna go ahead and just land. Okay. He's gonna meet us inside the facility. Whee! Who's this? Is this? A... Hey, oh, okay. what can I do for you? Oh, you're just the ship services technician. So I think the I don't know if there's a way to sell stuff to the trade authority here. That would be a drawback to coming straight to the Red Devils HQ. Yo! What?
What is that? Check it out. Oh, that's awesome. That's neat. I can't believe it. Major Sanon, Dr. Walker. You're in better shape than I expected, Geyser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Okay. Where are we going? Londinian. Londinian. Doctor, I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through. So, so cold. Think about campfires, warm muffins and jacuzzis. Yeah. We could let something else do the work for us. Come on. I'll walk you through what we're thinking. Well, unfortunately. Barrett was complaining about how cold it was when she was talking. So I was trying to read the text while she was talking, but I'm not sure I got it all. Uh, let's see here. Um, now we're on a new quest called Hostile Intelligence, so that means we finished up War Relics. With Kaiser back, Hadrian's ready to share the plan to stop the Terror Morphs. Sounds like we're heading for Londinian. And so our quest now, Hostile Intelligence. Hadrian says she has a plan for dealing with the Terror Morphs. I should follow her to find out more. All right, Major Hadrian Sanan, I am going to talk to you now. Are, are you nice and warm, Barrett? You need some hot cocoa or anything? Some mittens, maybe? You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nira? The thing that eats Terror Morphs, the Asilis? Um... Wait, there's a thing that eats terramorphs? <laughs> Take that as a no, then. <laughs> yes, there are. Apparently, the Asilis were bloodhounds for terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the Colony War, the Asilis were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, huh. what we're proposing is bringing them back. Yeah, man. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. Cool. Um, could Asili's really clean up whole worlds like you're describing? All our data suggests so. Asili's, they're impressive hunters. The few tests we've been able to run, well, they more than got the job done. They're also shockingly adaptable. The data suggests they're able to thrive just about anywhere, and we plan to selectively breed them so they can hunt terramorphs wherever they're hiding. Which is important, because we did some cross-referencing in the terramorph data. On worlds where Asilis were present, terramorphs weren't. This suggests that however it is terramorphs are getting onto our worlds, Asilis are somehow cleaning that up as well. These creatures are good at what they do. Hmm. Are these Asilis things dangerous? If you pick a fight with one, or you're a Terramorph, sure. But Asilis were already spread across the galaxy once before during the Colony War. As livestock, they're far less of a danger than the one we're proposing to clean up. I see, I see. Um... I mean, I, I don't know, man. I'm not sure I like the idea of introducing random aliens to human worlds across the galaxy. Well, there is another option. It'd be faster, maybe even more effective. But it's got its own risks. A microbe. Something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us. Which would include morphs, 
and we expect their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. Well, that sounds even worse. Um, I mean, what kind of risks are there with this microbe? Percival assures me that they're minimal. He'll be able to encode safeguards against mutation in the agent's genetics so that they stick to the task of cleaning up terramorphs. But the microscopic world has a tendency to behave in ways you can't always predict. So to say there's zero risk would be a lie. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, who exactly is going to be doing all this work? Dispersing the microbe or the Asilis? Well, that's still not 100%. But it sounds like the Vanguard will actually be picking up a fair bit of it. But there's no sense in hammering down those sorts of details before we've made a decision on which route we're taking. Okay. Um, I mean... Let's see here. Um, interesting. I mean, the microbe thing sounds scary to me. You could unleash something you're not expecting. The Asili's... We've already used as livestock. Heck, we almost hunted them to extinction before. If they get out of hand, I guess we could do it again. So yeah, uh, I vote for the Asilis. Certainly sounds like the lesser of two monsters. It means we're still dealing with monsters, though. People have been making dragons out of unfamiliar species as long as there's been people. But the Asilis are a known quantity. We don't need to fear them. With either path, though, we're looking at a long-term commitment. Years of work. Even just getting these plans off the ground is going to take time. And all routes are going to require some highly specific materials to make things work. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. A Seely's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines. Or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. I see, I see. Um, are we even allowed on Londinian? Hmm. <laughs> it's certainly not encouraged, but the UC's given their sign-off for this excursion. This trip is all above board. I see. So, Londinian had an Aceli's, Aceli's population? It was the central hub for Asili's processing during the Colony War. But, and this part's exciting, the Terramorph data suggests Asili's were first found there. The planet it's on, Tolemon II, was their homeworld. Meaning, there's a very good chance their prey, the Terramorphs, came from that same world. Which would also explain why no one ever suspected that planet as the Terramorph source world. The Asili's were too damn effective at cleaning them up. Additionally, it explains why once the Asili's were gone, the outbreak there was so catastrophic. Londinian could very well be where the Terramorph saga began. And the key to its end. I see. I mean, but that planet's overrun by Terramorphs. Isn't that suicide? It's dangerous, yes. But Kaiser, Percival, and I, we've trained for this. And you're not so green yourself. And the last thing I want right now is for the UC to stick us with some gung-ho jarhead who's going to put us and the mission at risk. Captain, you're the reason we're all here right now. You're the person I think can help us finish it. Will you join us on this? Um, I mean, uh, I need some time. If this is what it's going to take, then let's not waste any more time. Londinian, here we come. I mean, if this is what it's going to take, I guess this is what we got to do, man. I think this... This is the answer we've been looking for. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm going to help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. Okay. All right. Can I talk to her again? As soon as we're done with Kaiser, we'll meet you there. I see. Uh, so we really have no idea how humanity transmitted terramorphs across the galaxy. We don't. 
UC Brass wanted us focusing on weaponizing the adults, not where those adults came from. But there have been plenty of theories. That they release microscopic eggs that are drawn to the heat of the ships. That their nymphs are capable of a next level sort of camouflage. Hell, one PhD candidate suggested their long gestation was them storing up to make grav jumps all by themselves. And while I'd love to believe that's impossible, we've got definitive evidence for exactly none of it. So we can't completely rule it out. Luckily, both Microbe or Aceles should be able to help us get a handle on the issue. Yeah, I already said we're going to do the Aceles route, lady. Um, let's see here. Um, tell me everything you know about Londinian. Since the outbreak, Londinians belonged to the Terramorphs. The UC maintains a presence there, keeps an eye on things, scares off any trespassers. And there are still a couple species that have been able to survive alongside the morphs, but otherwise, they've got free reign. The city itself grew fast, but it was short-lived. The place was only founded during the Colony War to keep up with all the UC's increased industrial needs. A wartime boom town wiped off the map before it could really even put down roots. I see. Listen, Hadrian, do you really think this is going to work? Well, neither option is without risk, but I honestly believe both could be viable. It's going to take coordination inside the UC and out, but I think it can be done. I see. And then we have the opportunity here to tell her again that her father's alive. Is he really her father, though? Wasn't she cloned from him? Does that make him her father? Uh, but again, you know, I don't feel like my character wants to rock the boat. And I don't really feel like my character is all that close with her yet. That he feels like he needs to share that with her. Maybe we'll share it with her later, but not right now. Excuse me. So now our quest says... The plan is to remove the terror morphs from human worlds by either bringing back their natural predator or releasing a microbe to deal with them. But first, we'll need some raw, uh, some raw materials... And the only place to collect those? Londinian. I'm to speak to Com Commander Hatoum on the only base on the planets. Okay, well I could set a course from right here, but let's walk around and see if we can't talk to some peeps. Hey man, what's up? Okay. Hello. Hello, how's it going? That's cool, man. We got an Asili's walking around in there, that's awesome. We're gonna clone that mofo. Maybe we could talk to Percival again. Maybe we could talk to um, Kaiser again. Is that a terror morph? They're really not that terrible. Yes. I don't think so. Oh, there's another one in there. All right, I'll let you let you get to work. I don't know if I could work in a place like this. I appreciate the research, but yikes! Right. Terramorph right on the other side of those windows? Damn. Another one over there. Let's see what's going on up here. What's up, Percy? Mission like this? You want to bring out the big guns. Okay. Kaiser looks like he's been to hell and back. Fitting for an old devil. Mm-hmm. Don't you fret. We'll be there. Okay. Kaiser, anything you want to say? We will rendezvous at Londinian. Okay. I will be ready. Can't wait. I will be ready. And then we already talked to her. They'll have gear there, but if I were you, I'd bring something with some stopping power. Just in case. I have this shotgun. And then Pardon. we've got just a researcher here. Just a researcher. A door. Oh, to the abandoned mines. We don't want to go back out there. Well, Barrett, what do you say we go to Londinian? Go ahead and bring up our quest list here. We will set a course. We'll jump on over to Tullaman. First time going there. Oh, we've got a hail. Let's accept it. Attention vessel, you have entered restricted space. Please respond. Not sure why I'm getting up. Probably because it's the same button. Crap, man. I need to respond to this guy. I need to sit back down so I can respond. <laughs> gonna blow us out of the sky. 
This world is off limits. You are advised to jump to safe harbor immediately. Uh, I'm cleared to be here. I'm meeting with Commander Hatoum. You're interfering with a critical mission. Stand down or I'll report you. Uh, off limits, why? Or are you going to stop me from landing? I don't know. Let's ask him. Off limits, why? Tolomon 2 is a biological exclusion zone. Nothing down there but terramorphs and UC soldiers keeping an eye on them. Best course of action is to leave while you're still able. I'm surprised he told us that much. Well, listen, dude. I'm cleared to be here. I'm meeting with Commander Hatoum. Let me check my logs. <laughs> Alright, you can proceed. We'll let them know you're on your way down. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Five-star service right there. Okay, so let us um, clicky-click. And open planet map. And while we're here, we might as well do a scan. And we're going to, I guess, go down to forward base 441. Let's land. Um, let's exit our ship. Oh, this is awesome. I don't know, man. I feel like there's a lot to explore in this game. I like it. Let's go over here. Again, I need to talk to uh, the captain of the ship, the pilot, which is me. And uh, suggest uh, landing backwards. But I guess that's not going to happen. Let's see, what's the gravity like on this planet? Huh, it's same as Earth. You! Inside the barriers! Double time! Okay. Hey, dude, what's up? You with the Xeno unit? Head to command. Far end of the compound. Thanks, dude. I'll send the rest of your team along once they arrive. Okay. Command post is at the far end of the compound inside the old terror room. Hmm. Commander's expecting you. I wouldn't keep her waiting. Okay. What's going on back here? A lot of shooting. So now our quest says, uh, The plan is to remove the terror morphs from human worlds by either bringing back their natural predator or releasing a microbe to deal with them. But first, we'll need some raw materials. And the only place to collect these, Lindinian. I'm to speak to Commander Hatoum on the only base on the planet. Let's command. Let's proceed to the command post. What's going on down here? Forward base 441. Hey dude, what's up? How's it going, UC Marine? Dude. <laughs> it. Oh, wow. He's got ammo and stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, I love this ammo. That's the good stuff. Well, hope you don't mind if I take all your ammo, dude. It's not stealing. Oh, uh, we got a bridger in there. I'll take the ammo and leave the weapon. Yeah. Take the uh, 777 ammo. Okay. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Better than letting him waste it on those targets. Jeez. Eklund's Shipbuilders. Enhance! This is cool. I mean, you know, this used to be a city. And this is what remains of it. This is awesome. I like it. We're going this way, maybe? Here, brew coffee. Here we are. I mean, they can't even clean this place up. They just, like, leave it like this. This whole time they've been here, they've never bothered to clean this up. For shame. Hello, Commander Hatoum. I pride myself on knowing everyone on this world. And I don't know you. You're with the collection team then, I presume. Either that, or you're one deeply unlucky trespasser. Uh, let's see here. I'm just here for coffee. Black two sugars, please. Ha 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 ha. I'm with the collection team. Or Captain Mental Fox UC Vanguard, you're expecting me. Yeah, you're expecting me. Vanguard, eh? Brief said you were an eclectic group. 
You must have really shined out on the fringe to get assigned a task like this. Ah, then this must be the rest of your outfit. Commander Hatoum, I... No need for introductions, Major Simon. Dr. Walker, your reputations precede you. As does the urgency of your mission. So I'll get to it. Now, Londinian is one of the most dangerous places in the Milky Way. It's for good reason my soldiers and I do everything we can to avoid entering the city. Terramorphs are omnipresent, and the structural damage left behind when... when Major Sanon's father bombed its spaceport has turned large swathes of the metropolis into a decaying labyrinth. As such, we'll be providing you all with gear, information, and uploading municipal unlock codes to your robot. Every tool you could need to succeed out there. Except one. Once you're on the other side of those barriers, you will be on your own. If you get into trouble, my people will not be coming. Do we understand each other? Um... For, back up a little bit. Ve Victus bombed this place? Why would he do that? The initial Terramorph outbreak that overran Londinian during the tail end of the Colony War came as a complete shock. Waves of the creatures appeared out of nowhere, and the city was quickly overwhelmed. There were some attempts at evacuation, but Ve Victus decided more definitive action was merited. He ordered the spaceport to be bombed, ensuring no other ships could leave the city. Halting the spread of the outbreak, but leaving large sections in ruins and condemning countless lives. And the intervening 20 years have only made Londinian more hostile, not less. So my people will not be coming for you out there. Understood? Whoa, what was that? Um, you wouldn't even send a rescue party? We are unwanted guests on this planet, and, as a rule, I don't put my people in any more risk than is absolutely necessary. We've got it hard enough out here. So, no, there will be no cavalry sweeping into the rescue. Okay. Can you tell us what we're going to face out there? Terramorphs, and plenty of them. Outside our little sanctuary here, much of the planet is theirs. For that reason, we keep our trips into the city to a minimum. That also means our intel becomes largely historical once you go much beyond the defenses. It's also why I want to make sure I'm being crystal clear. Out there, you're on your own. I see. Um, well, okay. Understood, ma'am. Don't expect backup. Precisely. I'll leave you to your preparations, then. You can find your equipment in our armory, base of the tower just outside. And I do believe there's someone waiting for you there, Captain. What? Now, once you're outside the base, it's my personal suggestion you make a beeline to the nearby Aceli's plant. It contains one of our field caches. Though, I can't guarantee it won't contain anything else. I hope you all find what you're looking for out there. Robot, you're coming with me. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Commander. Percival, you all set to hook into their comms tower? Should only take a few minutes. Let's get this done and get the hell out of here. Percival will be scanning the city for our samples from here. When he finds one, he'll transmit the coordinates to us out in the field. Okay. Um, you can pinpoint the location of these samples all the way from here? Pinpoint's a bit strong. The equipment will be able to get us a rough location of any acceptable samples in the scan area. It'll be up to you, Kaiser, and I to find the things. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm with Percival. Let's get this over with fast. No argument here. Head over to the armory and gear up. Once you're done, we'll meet by the entrance to the city. Okay. Cool. All right, so now our quest says, uh, briefing's complete. I can either head to the armory to collect my gear or speak to Hadrian about moving out. Let's go collect some gear, man. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. There they go. Oh, well, there's a lot of stuff over there. Um, all right. Can we, uh, help ourselves do anything that I find in here? Would that be cool? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, you know, there's a uh, cooler here. I don't want any of this stuff, though. Uh, but I could go in here and, you know, eat some butter to get three health and a peach. And uh, why not an orange juice, you know? There we go. Breakfast of champions there. Uh, a bat ball cap? cap? Okay. Uh, I want it. A <laughs> uh, weapon case here. Uh, we're just gonna, like... I don't want that. Take some ammo and whatever we find. Let's... Oh, let's unlock something here. So much fun unlocking this stuff. Uh, this uh, this ring works on no, or this pick works on none of these rings. 
This one works, let's see here, let's see. This one only works in the middle. So we will, uh, okay, that one works there. Um, and then I need two, which looks like this is a good candidate here, maybe. Whoops. Okay, so I believe... Crud, where was I? Um, I've already forgotten where I was. This one, and this one, right? These two here. Wow, oh, I have 69 digit picks. Nice. Okay, so these two here are for the middle ring. And then this one only works on the outer ring, which is nice. So that goes there. Leaves me with four. But I think it's going to be a collection of two and two. That one goes there. This one goes here. I think it's going to go like this. Which one was the other outer one? I already forget. This one here. And then I've got this one. And this one. And then we've got... Uh... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Did I screw this up? Ah, oh, none of these picks work here. Oh, come on. Well, hell, I messed that up. Uh, exit. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right. I, I really seriously considering not even messing with that stuff anymore. It's just so tedious. Oh, a med pack. Ooh, impact grenades. We could maybe use those. I don't need... I mean, we open that helmet display. Yeah. Maybe these are legendary or... Oh, this one's locked. Okay, see. So those of you who are playing this game... Do you bother unlocking things anymore? Maybe I just feel like since people are watching, it seems extra tedious. Mannequin has this cool spacesuit on it, but uh, Let's consume that and get some five health. Why not? Why not? Do any of these work? <laughs> All right. Let's um. Let's go to the armory. That's what I want to do. Tell me you scanned that one. Okay, good. You got it. Okay, somewhere over here in this direction. She said it was like at the base of a tower. So I guess this is it. Okay. Well, is this it? What's up? One for me, all right? Don't go into the city much. Never for long. Too risky. Yeah. Heard you're going out there willingly. Damn. Yeah, I'm kind of bad. Can't chat right now. Oh, okay. Howdy. You match our description. The Vanguard captain. The cabinet wanted you to have something. Make sure you had the best tools for the task at hand. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, whoa. It gave me uh, some ammo, a bunch of ammo, an X989 micro gun. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to... Um, let me get all the ammo I could get from here. And then maybe when we're leaving, I'll come back here and take all these weapons with me to sell them somewhere else. All right. But I also thought there was, like, somebody waiting for us, she said, somewhere. Notepad. Oh, Polytech. Again, I'm just going to pick up ammo. Maybe eat some meal packs. Um, and then I can uh, come back here before we leave this planet. And just, like, help myself to this stuff. Take the med pack. I'll eat this. Oh, med packs. Yeah, I will take those. 
Uh, take some grenades. Ooh, neat. Armor plated calibrated UC anti Xeno balanced pack. I feel like I should take that. Yeah, I'm going to take this anti Xeno stuff here. What if we leave a few things here and make a second trip? What if you shut up? That was rude. Sorry. Word of Sorry advice about that. while you're out there. Don't trust what the voices tell you. Oh yeah, that's right. Those things uh, can get into your head, can't they? Ah, oh, jeez. No, we don't got to do that. Oh, whoa. Uh, power pack, group. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do here. Um, let's go into our inventory. And I'm going to change spacesuits. I'm going to put on this anti Xeno spacesuit. Uh, Beast Hunter, minus 15% damage from alien enemies. Auto Medic. Automatically use a med pack when hit and health. Oh, when hit. And health is below 25% once every 60 seconds. And Sentinel, 75% chance to reduce damage by 50% while standing still. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. And then as far as our pack goes, this thing here, it's sturdy, minus 15% incoming melee damage. It's fastened. Ooh, plus 20 carry capacity. No, I like that. It's armor plated, minus 10% incoming physical energy and EM damage. Nice. And then our helmets will go to this thing here. Beast Hunter, minus 15% damage from alien enemies. Analyzer, plus 10% damage to scanned targets. Incendiary, 10% chance to ignite nearby attackers. That sounds freaking awesome. I like it. Okay, uh, am I... Oh, oh okay, it wants me to pick this up too. All right, sure. Okay, so now we've collected our gear. And this weapon that we just picked up... I mean, it's not even special. It's just, just a weapon. We only have 201 rounds for it. It's not even that many rounds. But, um, I don't know. I'm not really sure why that it was important that I pick up that particular weapon. But I did. And, uh, you know... Never for long. Too risky. I'm actually, um... Going to head back to my ship right now to dump off, like, my Mantis suit. So I might as well pick this crap up. While I'm here. And, um... Yeah, we'll dump that stuff. I mean, even this stuff. I could take this and sell it. My character is like... He just sees dollar signs. I mean, he, we're over-encumbered, but we can stumble back to our ship, I think. I mean, these things can be used for crafting. Uh... <laughs> plus eight carry capacity for five minutes. Sure. Why not? Let's, let's, uh, let's get boozed up. Bad people, bad jokes, too. Okay. Oh, yeah. And then uh, polytextiles. Okay. We're going to go back to our ship real quick. Unfortunately, this... Uh, this might take a little bit of time because we are over encumbered. And we need to stop and rest occasionally. Put our ships right over there. Okay. Rest for a moment. Take a little bit of patience. So, I guess, it, is it like real cold here? Is this ash? Is this snow? I'm not sure. I mean, that looks like ice on the ground, so I guess it's cold. I mean, it sounds cold with the howling of the wind. So, yeah, maybe it's just cold. Okay, wait a moment here. Or my stamina come back. What, what are these things up here? Herding Glider Grazer. Nice. Wow. Scan data can be fairly valuable. Thanks, man. It's a structure way over there. Yeah, we could scan from pretty far away. I didn't realize I could scan from that far away. That's pretty cool. Bonk my head on my ship. Okay, let me dump this stuff off. Come 
Come on, walk forward. There you go. Okay. Transfer uh, weapons. Um, I don't need the bridger. Uh, I don't need an arc welder or this Eon or this Grendel. Uh, this is the weapon that was given to me. Oh man, this thing uses 777 ammo also. Going to go through all my rounds very quickly using this thing, no doubt. Um, this is the thing I've been using. I don't need two weapons that use 777, I don't think. This is not a bad pistol. This thing does a lot of damage, this shotgun. I like the shotgun. I don't feel like I need this. This does additional damage against humans. I'm not going to fight humans. This thing here... I'm just... I don't think I need it. So I'm going to drop that off. And then I'm going to drop off my Mantis uh, equipment here. And maybe we'll roll with um, this other suit. Well, definitely we're going to roll with this other suit while we're um, fighting uh, Terramorphs, right? Okay. Um, is this my mass? Dump off our resources. Okay, that made a big difference. Probably carrying a lot of aid and throwables also. Okay. Hey, oh, hey, what's up? How's it going? It's going pretty good, man. Thanks for asking. So we are no longer over encumbered. Barrett, you ready? Let's go. Back out to Lindinian. So now our quest says, uh, all gear collected, time to check in with Hadrian. Let's go do that. Liking what I'm seeing so far. You can see that this used to be a city. It'd be cool if we could get rid of all the terror morphs and we can open this place back up. That would be great. Do I need to go through this? I don't think there was a. Oh, maybe I go upstairs. Can't chat right now. Oh man, there's more gear up here. Let me just see if there's some ammo. Take uh, that in the shotgun shells. We'll take that ammo. Oh no, this isn't the way out. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll figure it out. Got a door here. It's cool looking. Okay. Those codes will allow you to temporarily restore power to most facilities in the city. Systems should shut themselves back down automatically. Okay. Ouch. Well, I've had that effect on people before. Commander. Someone's always watching the gate. You can come and go as needed. Okay. Good to know. My soldiers and I would appreciate it if you try not to draw too much attention to yourselves out there. Okay. There's a field cache in the Asili's plant just outside the barriers, if you need a quick resupply. Okay, good to know. Thanks. There's a field cache in the Asili's plant just outside the barriers, if you need a quick resupply. What do you think, UC Marine? Looking for the lock to the city? Through there. Thanks, man. Heard you're going out there willingly. Damn. Crazy, right? Make our way through here. I could eat some chunks. <laughs> I mean, you eat this stuff and I don't even see my health improve at all. <laughs> at that time I did. Most of the time I don't. I mean, but, you know, it's free health. Great sound effects. Chunks apple. Why not? Okay, here we are. 
Oh, let's talk to uh, Kaiser first. We should not delay. Yeah, but I want to chat with you. I want to get to know you as, as a robot. I am prepared to move out on your orders. Okay. I am prepared to move out on your orders. Well, Major Hadrian Sinan, what do you have to say? All set on your gear? You... You ready to do this? Mm, wait a minute, are you nervous? Yeah, just pre-mission jitters. You hear about a place for so long, it maybe gets bigger in your head than it should be. But you don't need to worry about me, I I'll be alright. Now, are we doing this or not? Mm, actually, I need some time. We're ready when you are. Okay. Uh, so, I'm going to end this episode here before we start on this mission. We'll go through that lock. We'll go out into the great unknown here. And um, we're going to fight ourselves some Terramorphs, apparently. And it's going to be awesome. I hope you'll join me in the next episode, and I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.